What is going on, my friends? Bruce Lund, founder and director of 90 Day Sales Manager. This week, we're going through your follow-up process. You know, we've all heard the fortune is in the follow-up, and I have to agree. You know, most people are losing out on millions of dollars in production due to poor follow-up. But more importantly, what I want to talk about this week is the, the follow-through. You know, it's important to follow-up. Follow-up on your dreams, follow-up with other people, follow-up on all these different things. But guys, the follow through is one of the biggest areas right now that I'm seeing that most people are struggling with. They're not doing what they say they're going to do. They're, you know, they're not showing up to meetings on time. You know, that's that brand consistency. That's that brand reputation that we build over and over is through the follow through process. Okay. So there's three areas that I want to walk through today with you when it comes to following through. Number one is making and keeping commitments to yourself and to other people. Okay, that's the first and foremost thing. When you're talking about showing up on time, when you're talking about doing what you say you're going to do, when you say you're going to do it, you know, that's the biggest brand story that I see for a lot of people is they give themselves an excuse or a reason one time to not do something. And then the likelihood of that not happening again in the future drastically increases. So that's the first part of this is making, keeping commitments to yourself and to other people. That's the first follow through. The second follow through then that I see that that holds people back from having a world class follow up systems is just that is having a system. How do you decrease the slippage and increase the retention of, of you actually going through whether that's a CRM, whether that's the way that you coordinate your calendar, uh, whether you, you color block it, there's a lot of different things that you can do systematically that will help you with your follow up and your follow through and making and com keeping commitments to yourself. You know, I have a 90 day sales planner that I carry with me at all times. I have CRM access from my phone at all times. I have uh, tasks, I have reminders, I have time block systems, right? So that's that second thing that I think that keeps people is they just get the current of the urgent, man. They get hit in so many different directions that they forget to follow through on what they say they're gonna do. Because a lot of us are yes people. We just wanna please other people, we want other people to like us. So we say yes, 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 yes. And then we don't actually have a system in place right on the spot to input that into our calendar or into our task list, okay? So that's the second part then, is having some kind of follow-up system to increase retention. And what I mean by retention is your memory, right? You can't remember all things. That's why I constantly write down all these different things in my own system, okay? And then decrease the slippage because there's nothing worse than when you miss an appointment, you miss a phone call. Guys, what you're really saying is I'm missing out on opportunities, right? Opportunities calling, I'm letting it go into voicemail or I'm, I'm not making the calls because I forget. The third part then really goes through and, and, and it's really following through on your own hopes, on your own dreams, on your own potential. You know, there's nothing more frustrating to me as a coach when I don't reach my own potential or when other people can be playing at this big old level, but they're not following through, right? They're not following through in their personal life, in their professional life. And so that's the third part of this process then is just going through, like I said, making keep commitments to yourself have systems, whether it's a planner, whether it's time blocking, uh, whether it's task list, whether it's a CRM, or whether it's an assistant, whether it's operational, right? There's a lot of different systems you can have. And then the third part is just following through on your own potential, man. Following through on your own hopes, on your own dreams. Following through on this life out there that you want to go hit. And basically, are you going to go do it, yes or no? So that's our, our three-step follow-up and follow-through system for you today. You know, 92% of people do not follow up with somebody more than four times. And statistics tell us when it comes to the follow-up process that it takes seven to 15 touches 80% of the time to close a deal. Guys, there's a big disconnect between people going for no. There's a big disconnect for people going through and following up and following through on what they say they're gonna do to go out there and grow your business. Celebrate the no, celebrate the failures because for every failure that you have, it gets you one step closer to that breakthrough in your business. Celebrate the no's. Go for no. I read that book this weekend, so it's fresh in my mind. Let's have a big week.